Welcome everybody. I'm Dr. Manar Safwat, lecturer of medical parasitology. Today, I would like to talk about family similidae of nematocera. This lecture will help you to know taxonomy, morphology, internal anatomy, biology, life cycle, and medical importance of family similidae of nematocera. Let's start with taxonomy. Phylum Arthropoda, subphylum Mandibulata, class Insecta, order Diptera, suborder Ursurafa, with two divisions. A. Nematocera, which contains family Chilocidae, Similidae, Cratobogonidae, and Psychodidae, and Brachycera, which contain family Tabanidae. Let's talk about family Similidae, Smellium species or black fly. Blood sucking black flies are serious problem of worldwide medical, veterinary, and economic significance. Adult female Similidae species can acquire and transmit pathogens such as nematodes, protozoan, and viruses that cause human and livestock diseases such as onchocerciasis, vesicular stomatitis, and trebansomiasis. Other species are biters that can cause discomfort and annoyance, morbidity, and even death. Let's talk about biology and life cycle of family similidae. Black flies go through four separate stages of its life cycle, which is called complete metamorphosis, egg, larvae, pupa, and adult. The length of each stage depend on both regional temperature and species characteristics. There can be anywhere from one to six generations in a year. Eggs usually numbering 200 to 500 eggs per female, and for most species are sited in or on flowing water. Some females attach themselves to wet surfaces, such as blades of aquatic grasses or water splashed rocks. A common method is for the female to drop eggs while flying over the water surface. Some species will hover and oviposit through a thin film of water that covers sand, rock, or vegetation. The shiny eggs are at first creamy white, changing to almost black when they are scrutinized. The length of time it takes an egg to hatch vary from species to species. Eggs of most species hatch in 4 to 30 days, but those of certain species may not hatch for a period of several months or longer. And these pictures are showing similidae eggs. The duration of larval development ranges from a few days to nine months, depending in part on water temperature and food supply. The last instar can pass through winter attached under water to rocks such as dams and channels. The number of larval stages range from 4 to 9, 
with seven being the usual number. Larvae remain attached to objects in flowing water, held on by silicon threads, extruded from glands located at the end of the bulbous abdomen, caudal sucker. Depending on the species, mature larvae range from 5 to 15 mm in length and may be brown, green, gray, or nearly black in color. They possess a large head that bears two prominent structures, known as fans, that project forward. These fans are primary feeding structure, filtering small crustaceans, protozoa, bacteria, and organic debris out of the water current. The pupal stage is formed in the following spring or summer, typically in the same site as the last instar. They are typically orange and appear mummy-like because the developing wings and legs are tightly attached to the body. And the pupa in many species produce a delicate silicon cocoon of varying density, width and size. That encloses them. Other species produce hardly any cocking at all. The pupal period is quite short in some species, requiring two to six days. In others, it may last three to four weeks. Temperature influences the duration of this stage, with cooler temperature retarding the emergence of adults. This picture showing the pupa of black fly. Adults emerge from the pupal stage in four to seven days and can live for two to three weeks. When the adult is ready to emerge, it can be seen through the translucent pupal integument. The fly breaks through a T-shaped emergence slide and rises to the surface quickly in a bubble of gas. Adult black flies are small insects that measure 1 to 5 mm in length and possess a shiny thorax that range in color from black to shades of gray, brown, or yellow. The female fly has blade-like and piercing mouth bars that are more or less rudimentary in the male. Nectar from flowers provides both males and females with carbohydrates for flight energy, and the females in addition usually require a blood meal for ovarian development. Males never suck blood, whereas most females are blood suckers. Males may form a hovering swarm, and mating occurs when females fly into or near such swarms. At other times, however, mating occurs by accidental contact on the ground or elsewhere, without the formation of swarms. Let's talk about medical importance of family similidia or similium, or black fly. Individuals react to black fly bites differently. Few people have little or no reaction. Most develop local reaction in the form of reddened itching wheels. Number one, black fly fever a combination of nausea, headache, fever, and swollen limbs occur in sensitive person. Number two, black flies are vector of oncocerca volvulus, the cause of human oncocerciasis. Number three. 
number three in the new world Similium metallicum and the similium exigum are the most efficient vectors because of their preference for humans and the timing of their activity. Or four, Uncocerca gatorosa commonly is transmitted by cattle by similium ornatum in Europe. In Australia, similium and Dicolicoid species infect cattle with Concocerca gibsoni, causing a loss to flesh and the hides. Number five, the malaria like bird disease caused by Leucocytosoan species is transmitted by various species of similium. Several additional diseases as endemic benthigus are is also transmitted by similium. And number seven, thrombocytopenic purpura, a disorder in which the platelet count is reduced and a nodding syndrome characterized by epileptic seizure in children of East Africa. Nodding syndrome is strongly associated with infection by the simulated born filarial nematode on Coserca volvulus, suggesting an autoimmune response. After transmission of pathogens, let's talk about prevention and control of simulated. Number one, the use of chemical insecticides in managing black flies. Dates to the dawn of the 20th century, when DDT was the principal means of control against both larvae and adults. The development of resistance and undesirable effect on non-target organism led to search for com another compounds these compounds as well as insect growth regulators weren't selective and they had negative effect on non-target organisms Ob number two black flies worldwide are managed through the use of the bacterium bacillus. The actual killing agent is an endotoxin in the barb inclusions that disrupts the cell of the highly alkaline larva midgut. Number three, the potential for exploiting natural enemies for simulate control is enormous. Nearly 200 species of symbiotic organisms, in addition to many species of bacteria, have been documented for that purpose. Number four, physical control of the breeding habitat is effective in reducing beast population. Usually when the beast species is concentrated in a restricted area. Number five, personal protection for humans. Involve the use of repellents, both natural and synthetic. And wearing light colored clothing and minimize opening in the closing, such as buttonholes through which black flies can gain access to skin.
and providing shelters in a, is an effective means of protecting livestock because many of the best species of black flies in turn and the black flies that enter houses of song birds can be managed by eliminating the vents or surrounding holes with adhesives. And these are references if you want to have a look. Hoping that the literature was useful for you all. Thanks and goodbye.